Welcome to the 2016 Pokemon Go Olympics. Competing here today is the most popular team, Team Mystic. Joined by the most aggressive and fierce team out there, Team Valor. And finally followed by the underdog, Team Instinct. The order of today's events are as follows. First is going to be the 100 meter dash, followed by long jump. And in conclusion, they're going to compete in Pokeland to see who is the champion. And if we look to the track, our runners seem to be ready. Runners on your mark. Get set. All right, the first win of the day goes to Team Instinct, a very unexpected win for them. For anyone not familiar with our score count, 15 goes to 1st, 10 goes to 2nd, and 5 goes to 3rd. Now at this point it is still anybody's game, let's see how they compete in the next two events. Now moving on to today's first field event, Long Jump. Starting off with Team Valor's very own Jack Oak, let's see how he performs. Alright, not one of Jack Oaks' best performances. If we look back at the instant replay, we can tell that he doesn't get all the power he needs off that first jump. All he can do now is hope that it's good enough for the gold. Up next is Team Mystic's Andy Neal. So far this season, Andy's furthest jump has only been 8 meters flat. Let's see if he can break that record today. What an outstanding jump for Andy Neal. And it's better than his personal best. You can obviously tell he's very happy from that performance. Looking back at the instant replay, you can tell that he gets all the power he needs off that jump. Now we wait to see if it's good enough for the gold. Now our final jumper today is Team Instinct's very own Mason Hall. He is coming off an amazing upset in the 100 meter dash. Let's see how he performs here. What an amazing jump right there from Mason Hall. However, it is not far enough to beat Team Mystic's Andy Neal. If we look back at the instant replay, you can tell that he definitely gives it everything he has. However, it is just not far enough. And that will be it for Long Jump. Team Mystic is finally catching back up with Team Instinct, however leaving Team Valor in the dust. The Long Jump goes to Team Mystic. And now we move on to today's final event, Pokelin. Up first is Team Mystic's Andy Neal. And what a great way to start off the competition. If you look back at the instant replay, he has perfect form as he throws the ball. This is definitely going to be a difficult one to beat. Up next is Team Instinct's Mason Hall. Unbelievable! It rolls just in front of Team Mystic's Andy Neal's Pokeball. Just like Andy, he has perfect formation as he throws the ball. At this point, Team Valor's Jack Oak is just competing against himself. Oh my, his arm goes in a weird formation as he throws. Definitely not helping his cause. If you see right there, his arm goes to the right, not going straight as we saw in the other two competitors. Definitely a rough day for Team Valor. And with that being said, Team Instinct has an amazing win over Team Valor and Team Mystic. By winning two of the three events, Team Instinct has secured this Olympic victory. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the first annual Pokemon Go Olympics. Until next time, keep on catching.